Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for watching. I am Jack Stafford. I uh, own Be Fit and Beyond. That is my brand name. Be Fit and Beyond, just a little bit about me, uh, encompasses an approach to mental health where exercise and good nutrition, the power it has on our mental health, is something which is really underestimated. And it's something I want to talk about, I want to share, uh, because ultimately it helps save my life. So, a little bit about me, uh, I thought I would do this uh, sort of video um, kind of content because I currently have my website blog, befitandbeyond.com and I've been talking in the past couple of weeks about all things kind of training, nutrition, life, a bit of lifestyle, uh, mental health and I've been talking a lot about kind of mental health topics because for me, uh, I really let that support out there when I was going through these really tough times. Um, when I came out of my story on my website, someone who I live with in second year um, said, I, let, I feel, so, feel so bad that, uh, you know, I feel like I let you down, uh, that I wasn't there for you and, you know, you feel like you couldn't trust me enough to talk to you. And obviously no one knew. Uh, and that's one of the major things about mental health. You know, it's, it's such a tough, tough thing because someone could seem so happy, people thought I was so bubbly and energetic and always on form, but obviously that was all a show and that is kind of so much of the case for other people. And all the signs were there uh, in second year of university especially. Uh, that's when I was, you know, at, my, at my, one of my lowest points and that was a good three, four, year, four years ago now. So, and all the signs, covert signs were there. And it just made me realise when she messaged that I was, I'm really doing the right thing because my message out there is for people who are struggling with mental health issues, uh, that there is someone who's completely normal, who has gone through all of that dark, like, hell, that kind of you feel like you're going on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, you have some good days, or I say good days, better days, but you have your days where you're just like, what is the point of me being here? And I had many, many of those over the year. I was going through mental health issues for... Four years, it started off not okay, but it started off kind of just anxiety and then it got worse and worse and worse and then it went into full scale depression. So I, uh, when I when I did open up uh, to uh, my, my family, that was the first step of me turning it all around. But I just want to talk a little bit about that because, you know, you might be watching me here and saying, oh, like, it's easy for you to say this, you know, speaking up, you don't know my situation. And you're right, I don't know your situation in terms of what you've been through in the past. People with mental health issues, all our journeys are so, so different in terms of, you know, you've been exposed to different situations uh, and experiences in your childhood, in your upbringing, uh, whatever it may be compared to me. But what is, this, what is similar is certain thought patterns, thought processes, behaviours, which kind of how people who go through depression, um, you know, suffer from uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so, and I, I have, I have been through that. And I'm not sitting here, you know, with kind of one of those ITV campaigns I saw the other week on, you know, Piers Morgan and Philip Schofield saying, you know, speak up, it's okay to not be okay. Because when I was going through absolute crap, like suffering from depression, if I saw that campaign, I mean, hang on a second, who do you think you are? You know, to be talking, you've got all your millions of pounds, you know, sat on sat on your presenter's cosy life chair. You know, how patronising are you? So it was all, all these kind of campaigns. They're really nice sentiments, but the whole kind of, the whole outcome and, you know, effectiveness of them is just so wrong. So hopefully someone who is just normal, like just just a regular person, who has been through uh, the hell and back and here today, um, kind of coming out the other side as, as if you were. I hope, you know, you can find a lot of what I'm going to be talking about in the next couple of weeks uh, to be beneficial. Um, so this vlog, yeah, is not just for those people out there who are suffering from mental health issues. Uh, it is also for people who might know someone who is going through mental health, health problems uh, from their friends speaking out to them, family members speaking out to them, so they're aware of it and just helping to manage that person, but also to those who don't necessarily know, but to be more like in tune 
with kind of your surroundings because you know if you see someone and your mates then they're all fine you know they're having a laugh or giggle uh, but there are certain kind of behaviors which you know you don't pick up on but those are the signs you know that someone is that is struggling and just for you to be more aware of it um, and like potentially kind of go down the avenue of kind of trying to help them not a sense of being a therapist but just asking opening questions about kind of how they're feeling and stuff to try and guide them gently into talking about kind of what is going on with them a bit more so hopefully kind of a lot a lot of people can actually get some real benefit of this because there is such a mental health crisis uh, in this world at the moment and although a lot more is being done about it uh, I feel like as well kind of the more dark and obscure topics about it uh, aren't being covered yet uh, which is what I'm going to be um, un uncovering as well uh, you can if you like kind of what this is all about uh, you can go to my website uh, befitandbeyond.com uh, and I have as I said uh, been blogging about kind of mental health issues kind of from my experiences and also what I've read recently uh, in regards to kind of recovering from depression uh, which you know as some really powerful research that I've, I've read and uh, blogged about and I will be continuing to blog about in, in the next couple of weeks and I also will be uh, continuing to talk about in the next couple of weeks but I just wanted to do this video just to kind of give you guys an idea about kind of who I am you know what my message is you know and how passionate I'm about it because at the end of the day I, I come from this uh, from this journey I'm very open about my mental health struggle about my mental health because it has helped me who I, I am today and you know I wouldn't know if I was the person I am with kind of you know the love I have for my job the drive I have in life if it wasn't for that struggle uh, it is mainly the person I am today so that's why I'm so confident about it and I also want to help people out there uh, because I really lacked that's felt I felt like I really lacked that someone out there to resonate with and that could have been as well like my little guiding light to guide me um, and I hope kind of you guys might benefit a bit from that. But if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to ask uh, my email, befitandbeyond at gmail.com. You can catch me on social media, befitandbeyond, and ask me any questions as well. But I hope this is a benefit to you guys and to kind of have someone out there who does know what you're going through. Uh, I promise you that I've had that struggle uh, for the years and, you know, it's not for me. It's never a matter of if, it's always a matter of when. So thank you for uh, still watching and I hope you can get some useful things out of these uh, vlogs that I'm doing. So have a lovely rest of your weekend and stay safe during this coronavirus. Stay safe with your families, look after yourselves and we can get through this together.